What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Renegade. Welcome to a whole nother video. As you can see by last week, I had broken my can am. I had hit something very hard to where it had uh, pushed this lower A control arm, uh, which it dented it really bad. I don't see no axe or anything broken, but I am going to loosen these nuts on this tire, jack it up, and then see what we got. So let's get into it. And if you're new, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more riding videos and uh, go get your quad and ride, baby. And also, as you can see, the tire is literally leaning in, uh, but we're going to fix that. So, see y'all. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, the damage is right there. This whole bottom A arm. And I think I'm going to have to get a uh, new inner link because it's all smashed up, too. Maybe it's savable. Good thing our axle. I'm um, not torn or anything. Surprised and I had drove it and it didn't wear off the ring or anything. I think the first thing first, what I'm gonna do, I don't think I have to do that much, is just remove this tie rod, um, put some pressure on here. Uh, maybe remove uh, this shock um, and remove the bottom nut on the bottom side and just hit it out and then slide it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this out so we can have some free play some type of way, I'm thinking. We'll see, I'll figure it out. All right guys, so I removed my tie rod right here. Uh, also removed uh, this bolt right here that uh, held this lower control arm in place. I had to whack this down really hard. I was kind of stuck in there, use some WD-40 uh, to loosen it up. I think our axle and all that looking good. Our linkage looked good. It was just, this piece was just jammed up on it. Um, if I, you know, just changed the lower control arm, it should have everything in line and stuff like it's supposed to. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, we'll see once we uh, get the new lower control arm. But I'm about to take it off and then we're gonna, uh, you know, look at it uh, from there. But my, inner link look the same all right guys next thing we need to do is just remove these uh, two bolts right here and uh, slide this bad boy out right here and 20 hours later she should slide right out I don't know what the hell that was ah, so quick guess I go in between like that That's all she wrote, guys. All right, guys, this is new control arm. Um, we could use a hammer if we really wanted to, it straight out. <laughs> but anyway, damn, she got bent up real bad. Thank God it was just a lower control arm and nothing else too severe and all. So, uh, I have bought it uh, today, so I got it ordered. So it should be in by like Friday or Saturday. I did it through the dealership. Because uh, when I look online, I can't find, like, the right appropriate part. Uh, so, I'm going to end up taking this with me and make sure they like the same uh, parts. You know, because I did order one wrong thing before that was an axle uh, one period of time. And then I ordered the hand guards. I ordered the wrong piece. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, I'll see you all in the next one. It's kind of dark. This light finna go out. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all for the love and support. And thank y'all for y'all patience and stuff. Uh, I know people wait for me to do some modifications to this bike. I might need to, um, honestly. But like I said, I might end up keeping it stopped. If I do a first modification, it might end up being an exhaust. Because I have multiple people keep asking me. I am, am I going to change the exhaust? So I might end up considering changing the exhaust. Um, maybe some bigger tires, uh, and then we already know we have to get like a new secondary and primary, if I'm mistaken, and then uh, a little tune. And this bike would be like you know, badass. But I always say, I always want this bike to be like very unique and different in a way. So, yeah, this bike's seen a lot, but this bike don't have that much. 
uh, hours and mileage on it, but it been through a lot. Um, but hey, it's still running. I've been keeping up with, you know, the oil change and all that. Uh, I know when we get the axle and all that, we're gonna grease everything up, make sure everything greased up, and we're gonna clean this bike up. Uh, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace. See y'all, man. Be safe.